Webinar, C3 Software, Applications in Business Research. Welcome to the webinar that has been created by Nuri Hernández León. Nuri is a PhD student of the Faculty of Business Economy from the University of Salamanca. This webinar has been created for the members of the NECE Research Unit in the Business Sciences. NECE is a department of Management and Economics Research Center at the University of Beira Interior, UBI. This webinar has been created during the research stay of Nuria with the Dr. Ricardo Gobeya Rodriguez in the Faculty of Economy of University of Beira Interior, working in the UBI Multimedia. C3 is a software that has been designed by Urs Fischbacher and has been programmed by the same authors and Stefan Schmid from the Faculty of Economy from uh, the University of Zurich. The authors began the development of the software in 1998 and have continually added new features that you can find in their own website. There are people in Google that create new applications for C3 too. C3 is a software package for developing and carrying out economic experiments and for creating the presentation of an experiment through a computer of a group of computers connected in network. This is an example of a programmed experiment with C3. Experimental subjects could see this screenshot requesting the necessary information and could answer it on the computer to which they are connected. The language used to define the experiments is simple and compact, meaning that experiments can be developed quickly and programming experience is not necessary, though useful. C2 is flexible both with respect to the logic of interaction and the visual representation. With C3 software, you can make experiment presentations, conducting questionnaires, normal for games, extensive for games, double actions, and for example, clock actions. You can obtain a license to work with C3 only for academic or investigation reasons, not for commercial issues. To obtain a license, you must fill out an application form in the website. This is the website where you can obtain the license. In this moment, the last version of C3 is uh, the 367, and it has been created in the summer of 2016. The applications are programmed in Visual C++. You can use both uh, um, uh, 32 and uh, 64 bits resolution versions of Windows starting with Windows XP, the version XP3. The C3 software is implemented as a client server application with a server application for the experimenter called C3 and a client application for the subjects called CLEFT. So, to program the research, you must work in the server application in C3 and to comprove if the program you have created is OK, you can do it in CLIF application. All the information of the experiment that can be shown to the experimental subjects will appear in the CLIF application. It is very important to remember that the C3 and CLIF application must be in the same file to run the experiment. OK, let's go to the program. It's important to know the different sections of the C3 application. Background is where you can define the general parameters like the number of subjects of the experiment, the number of groups, if there is any practice periods before the paying periods, or, or the number of paying periods of the experiment, and of course the language of the C left. Treatment is where you define the different phases of the experiment. Stage, it is one phase of the experiment. 
active screen is where you can design what the experimental subjects can show in the computer during the experiment. In this section, you can design text boxes, information that could read the experimental subjects, buttons to, for example, accept or continue in the experiment uh, to another state, and so on. A logic order to program an experiment could be first define the general parameters in the background and the language, second create a treatment, then create a stage, define the variables, incorporate the programs and finally design the active screen. But it is also possible to change any aspect previously programmed. When you open C3 application, you find an untitled treatment one. The language that experimental subjects will show in the experiment, by default, is German. If we want to change the language of the experiment, we will have to close this treatment one, select treatment, language, and choose the one we prefer. In this case, we choose Portuguese from Portugal. Then we can comprobate the Portuguese language of the experiment go to File, New Treatment, Background, Background C Rule, and comprobate all is OK. In general parameters that appears when open the ground, you can define the number of subjects of the experiment, the number of groups, if there is any practice period before the paying periods, or the number of peri paying periods of the experiment. In our experiment, we are going to write that there will be two subjects in a group without practice period and with a payment period. The first step in design an experiment is to be clear about what we want to create. What screens have to show to the experimental subjects in the computer and the order of them, and what information we want to present or obtain from the subjects. It's like a storyboard of the experiment. In our practical example for how to create a small experiment of economic decision making, we want to make a questionnaire with three visualization screens for the experimental subjects. In the first screen, we will think for participating in the investigation. We will explain what the subjects will do, and if they have no doubt, they'll have to press the continue button. In the second screen, we will inform the subjects on what economic amount they have to deal with another person. And in the third screen, the person will have to decide what economic amount he or she wants to deal with the other person. OK, let's go to do it. Let's create the first display screen that we have set up on our storyboard. We have to create a new treatment in which we will include a face in which will appear in the active screen, a text box and a button to continue to the next phase. With background selected, we click on treatment, new state to create a new phase, and uh, this phase we will call Instrusoes. We will select that you can start if possible. It is not necessary that all begin at once, but uh, some subjects can start before, another after, depending on what time they arrive. It gives you the opportunity to move to another screen after uh, 30 seconds of a screen display, or the time you type in this square. The time in this program is always counted in seconds. 
We are going to tell you that um, it is not necessary to leave the face after uh, 30 seconds and we give OK. Thus, we will have created a face called Instruzoes where we can add uh, texts, buttons, programs and everything you want. Once uh, we have made the stage, now we are going to insert a text box in it. The text box is, some, is something that subjects will see in the C left, so it will have to be included in the active screen. With the active screen selected from the face that we have created, we will select Treatment, New Box, standard box. This text box to have noted we will call it um, Kaisha Wun. With these parameters can be programmed where to put the text box with what the location if we want it up, down, right or left. It can be set uh, for both pixels and percents. In our case, after trying and putting a little higher, a little lower, and try how you can look better before doing this webinar, we will select with frame selected with um, 50%, height 50%, distance to the margin, and all this. Um, buttons 15% uh, adjustments to the remaining box on top and on left the buttons positions here and that's ok press ok we can verify that in the active screen we have been created a text box called Kai Shaun. In the standard box we have created, we will enter text and continue button. To enter text in the text box, we need to create an item. So, having selected the text box in which we want to enter the text, in this case, Kaisha Un, we click on Treatment, New Item. In this item, in the label section, we put the text that we want to appear and show the experimental subject. Bon dia, molto obrigado, blah, 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 blah. In this case, this text is only informative, not associated with a variable. So we don't write in the variable box. In the next screen, in the screen 2, that we will create, we will introduce a variable, so don't worry, because we will teach it later. In layout, we type 1, which means that the text will appear as it is. In this section, you can design how information can appear. For example, here we could design that the experimental subject can select between two possible response options with a click. Input will not select it. Input is selected if the experimental subject has to enter data. Don't worry, we will also teach how an experimental subject can be asked for information on the screen 3 of the practical exercise we are making. Now we can check how in the after the screen of the face instructions we have created a text box in which there is an item with the data that we have entered if we needed to enter more inf items in the same text box it will be done in the same way we will select the text box in which we want to enter the text we will click on treatment new item and we will introduce another item. We have made the text box with an informative text item. 
we are going to add a button of continuar on that same item. This button will serve to move on to the next phase of the experiment. To do it, select the, the item that we have created, which is where we want to put the button and uh, select treatment, new button. The name of the button will be continuar. Select leave states, yes, because pressing this button we will move to the next one phase. And I want it red. This button is not subject to any event time, so this section will leave black. We press the OK button and we can check how in Kaisha Un we have made a text box and a button to continue to the next phase. Now we are going to check that the visualization screen we have made is OK. To verify this, it can be done by checking what the experimental subjects could show in the computer during the experiment, in the section C left. In order to see what the experimental subjects are going to do and to run the experiment when it is already designed, you have to open as many C lefts uh, as there are experimental subjects. It can be done manually, creating shortcuts in the same folder where the CLEFTS program is. So if you have two experimental subjects, this can be done without much time. But if you have, for example, 100 experimental subjects, it could take too long time doing it manually. As the fastest way to do it is automatically, I will teach you this way. If we go to this website, we can download the open left programs. To about possible interactions problems, C3, C left and this program must be in the same folder. The program to create more C lifts contains a folder called programs, where it says in a text box Save C3 and C left executables here. In order for the program to work and the open C left to be properly linked, it is necessary to have C3 previously open. When the program is downloaded, if we open it, the program will ask you for the following information. How many C left do we want to create? From what number do we want C lifts to be numbered? This is interesting, for example, if in a session we have created uh, 20 C lifts, and in a second session we are going to continue by C lifts number 21. These lifts uh, can be opened in a set of computers connected in network, writing the IP address of the server, or open it in your own computer. We will select what is appropriate in, in the case. And you have to answer where the CLIFS program is because it is where the programs have to act. In my case, the CLIFS executable is on my own computer in the program folder. When uh, when this screen is filled, we press the Open Select button and it will create as many selects as we have indicated. We can check that there will be selects in our case. We have two selects open because there are two experimental subjects. To check if we've done the world C3 programming process well, let's go to C3, run and start treatment auction. In this way, we can execute in C left the program that we have created and we can verify if the first screen of the experiment has been carried out properly. So we uh, could continue programming the second screen. To stop the experiment and to continue programming, 
we will press uh, run stop after this period run clean stable select the subjects of the game and it is given to run leave state as many times as the states we have created in client stable we can see if an experimental subject is running the experiment because it appears with three asterisks in which phase it is or if uh, it's at the beginning of the whole experiment if ready appears in its experimental subject which means that they can start run the experiment. As we have verified that the programming of the first screen is OK, let's program the second screen of the experiment. This is the second screen we are going to create. In this screen, we will inform the experimental subjects that has a hundred euros to distribute with another person. To make this screen, we need to create a new stage, inside which we will enter a text box, an item with the text, and we will create inside the item an OK button. So, let's do it. In C3, we are in the last state create. We click on Treatment, New State, and generate a new state called Euros para Distribuir. It will start when uh, it's possible after the first state create and will not leave the screen after uh, 30 seconds but will be done when the person clicks the button we are going to create and uh, press the OK button now we can verify that we have created a new stage in the investigation called Euros para distribuir now we are going to introduce a text box that will be able to see the experimental subjects in the CLF section and for this reason uh, we have to make it in the active screen on this uh, face select the active screen and click on treatment new box standard box this box will be called Kaisa Dues we write on the screen distance outside the 50% and 50% and here 15% 15% 15% 15% and 15% and in adjustment to the remaining box we will select top and left the position of the button we are going to place it in the same place from the previous screen Press the OK button and now we can verify that we have created a text box called Kaisa Dues. So we have created the Kaisa Dues where we want to introduce an item. We are going to introduce the item with the money that the experimental subjects can distribute with another person. Before making this item, we must realize whether or not it includes a variable. In this case, it is not an informative item, as it was the ones of the previous string, but it is an item that refers to a variable, in this case, the amount to distribute. Therefore, before creating the item, we have to define the variable that it associates with does item. In this case, the variable will be called Kate side. To do this, we select in the Euros para distribuir phase and add a program to define the variable. With the phase selected, we go to Treatment, New Program, and there we define the Kate side variable that is numeric. When we finish programming something, you have to put a semicolon behind that programming to make it work. 
or could make it run. Once the case side variable is defined, we will create the item in the after the screen where it will be displayed. We select from the active screen Kaisa Dues, Treatment, New Item. In Level, we write the text that we want to show the experimental subjects in the computer. In Variable, we put the associated variable of the text. In this case, is Kaisite. In Layout, we put one because we want uh, it to appear like this. To make sure the subjects have understood what they have to do, let's ask them a question. You have a hundred euros to distribute between you and the other person. What is the total sum of money you can share with another person? As the experimental subject has to enter information in this item, we will select the input option and we will define the minimum and maximum value of that variable, which will be 0 and 100. We select OK and we have defined it that item in which the experimental subject can write the answer to uh, this question. Next, we will create an OK button that will serve us to move to the next phase of the experiment, screen 3. To do this, we will place in the item where we want to place the OK button. We will select Treatment, New Button. It could be an OK button, which will help us to leave this straight, and we want it red. OK. So we can verify we make this button here. On the last screen that the experimental subjects will show in the computer, we are going to ask the person how much money they are going to give to the other person. This amount of money will be associated with the variable that is going to be called Oferta. And the experimental subject will have to write the amount of money he or she will give to the other person. Let's do it. In C3, we select the last stage that has been made, create a new stage, clicking on Treatment, New Stage. This stage, we, we, uh, we will call it Oferta. We select Start if possible and uh, no leave the stage after time up. OK. We have created a new stage. In this stage, we are going to introduce the variable that is associated with the information that we are going to ask. Select the state create. We go to treatment, new program. As we can show in the computer, this variable that we are defining will be associated with the table of subjects. And in program, we will define the variable oferta. Oferta, zero. When the variable is made, we will go to after the screen. We create a box that we'll call Kaisa 3. With the same distance to the margins and location that the previous screen. And the same location of the buttons. When the text box has been created, we insert an item in treatment, new item. In level, we put what we want to experiment the subject read. What sum of money do you want to give to the other person? This text is associated with a, the variable we have created uh, that is called Oferta. The participant has to write an economic amount, so we add an input with a minimum of zero and a maximum of k side. And with this, uh, we will have finished the experiment. The date that are introduced by the experimental subject are self safe in an Excel that we can use in our date analysis. We can show what experimental subjects can do in the experiment in the left section. 
and a RAND experiment in C3, RAND, start treatment. Remember that you have to open as many CLFs that experimental subjects there are. Here we can see what happens in the page of CLFs in which we can verify that the program runs properly. In C3, if we click uh, to the option Run, Clean Stable, we can see the experimental subjects that are carried out the experiment at this moment. If our treatment runs properly, we can save it uh, with the name we want and open it at another time if we need it. To save it, we'll have to select File save as and save it with the name that we want. C3 programs have the uh, full stop ZTT extension. In Programs folder, an Excel will be saved with the experimental subject data that they have introduced during the experiment. The program will create an Excel for its experimental subject that has responded on the computer screens. If we open the Excel, we can show the information of this first experimental subject. In this Excel, we can see that subject 1, in period 1, of root 1, has taken 27 seconds to respond to the first screen asking a question about what was the total amount that could be distributed or side. In addition, it has taken 28 seconds to answer the second question about the variable oferta and has responded that he or she distributes the other person an amount of 50. Well, uh, we are at the end of this webinar on how to create uh, a simple experiment on economic decision making with C3 program, in which we have introduced informational variables quantitative variables, uh, the subject, the experimental subject has been asked question about the distribution of an amount of money. We have also learned uh, how to save the program created to be open or execute at another time and how the information appears in the Excel that the program creates for its experimental subject. This simple experiment can be complicated even more and we can create, for example, groups of subjects that can see screens and not others. We can make a screen if only is only seen in a certain period and not in another. We can also generate interactions between groups of experimental subjects and so on. Now uh, let's show a more complex example. We will not develop it step by step because we already know how to create variables, programs, stage, items, buttons, uh, but we will explain what we have done to create it. In this case, we will explain how we have programmed the ultimatum game with C3. In the ultimatum game, there are two groups of experimental subjects. One group, which we call uh, Grupo Uno, sorry because this sample is in Spanish and not in Portuguese. Well, Grupo Uno is the one that decides how much to distribute with another person in Grupo Dos. The person in Grupo Dos 
who receives the offer has to decide whether to accept or reject it. If accepted, both will take the amount that the person in Grupo 1 has decided. If the person in Grupo 2 rejects the offer, no one will take any economic amount. Let's see how I've programmed this ultimatum game on C3. This will be the storyboard of the screens that the experimental subjects can show on the computer and that we want to create. There is a first screen of instructions that will appear for the two groups uh, of experimental subjects only in the first period with a continued bottom. In the experiment, the experimenter will give its experimental subjects his group number and uh, well, his or her group number and his or her subject number. Afterwards, there will be a second screen where its experimental subject will be asked to enter his group number, one or two. In the third screen, its experimental subject will have to enter their experimental subject number. The fourth screen will only be seen by the experimental subjects of the group one. They will be asked, of the uh, 100 euros uh, that you have to distribute, how many you offer to the other person? This information will be needed to uh, make the five screen, which will be only be seen by the experimental of the group two subjects who have the same subject number as the person who made the offer in the group one. In the five screen, the experimental subject of group two will be asked if he or she accepts or rejects the offer they have received. Once we have the information of whether to accept or reject the offer, two feedback screens will be generated, one for the group one and one for the group two. Group one will be informed of the total amount to be distributed, also the amount of money he or she offered to the other person, and feedback will be given or whether the other person have accepted or rejected the offer. And based on this, the experimental subject of the group one be informed about the in income that he or she has received. In the other feedback screen, only the experimental subjects for the group two will be informed of the total amount to be distributed, also the money that the other person has offered him or her. We will report if he or she accepted or rejected this economic proposal. Based on this information, we will report him or her what income he or she will have. And finally, all the information that has been collected during the experiment will be reflected in an Excel, as we have seen in the last case that we have programmed step by step. We have generated a new treatment that we have called Ultimatum Nuria. In background, background C rules, we can verify that we have selected the language that the experimental subjects of Spanish will show in the computers. Remember that, you, uh, uh, that to change the language, you need to remove the treatment that appears in German by default and select treatment, language, and the language you want before creating the world treatment and the programs. In general parameters, we define that there are two experimental subjects, two groups, and so there will be one experimental subject in its group, with no practice periods and one period of payment. We have generated a stage that we call instrucciones, in which we have programmed, remember, by clicking in treatment, in program, the variable kite side, 
which will be the amount to be distributed. In the second line of programming, we have written that the instructions only run in uh, period 1. The participate function defines when or to whom this phase will apply. The first part is the condition. So when that condition is come about, in this case 1 means run the stage and 0 is no run the stage. In this phase of instructions, we have created a standard text box where, uh, where we have introduced an item and a button of continuar to continue. In the item to verify that the experimental subjects have understood the instructions, at the end of the same item, they they have they are asked about how much uh, total amount has to distribute uh, them. That question is related to the case side variable that we have introduced previously, so we wrote it here. In addition, the experimental subject has to write an answer, so that is the reason why we select uh, the input option, whose minimum is 0 and maximum is 100. We close this item and we can see that in the same text box we have created a continue button. Subsequently, we have created a second phase in which experimental subjects will be asked to enter their group's number, which may be one or two. To make it, we have created a new phase, in treatment, new state, that will be called Grupo. Then, we have introduced the variables that will appear in this phase, in this case, the vari variable Grupo. And we have programmed uh, that only this information be requested in the period 1, so that if there was more than one period, only this information is requested only once at the beginning of the experiment. In the active screen of this phase, uh, the experimental subjects will be able to show a screen with an item and a continue button. If we open the item, the subjects will be asked to enter the group number. In variable, we write grupo, because it is associated with uh, that variable that we have created previously. In addition, we select input, because they will be asked to enter the group number they have, which can be one or two. In this other section, we have created the continue button. Then we have made a new phase to generate the third screen, where all experimental subjects will be asked to enter their subject number. To do it, we have created a new state, in treatment, new state, that we will call numero de sujeto, and it will start when it's possible. With the state selected, we introduce a program in which we create the vari variable numero, and we also tell the program to only execute this phase if the period is one. One important thing that ha have happened to me while programming this game is the SISU. In Spanish, number has accent mark. If you write a variable with accent mark, the program doesn't run. Another thing that have happened to me is if we put period with the first letter in lowercase, the program doesn't run. All the variables that operate in C3 must be made with the first letter in capital letters to function the program properly. It is also important that you don't forget to write a semicolon after its programmed line.
in the active screen, which is what experimental subjects can show in the computer. On this third screen, a text box has been generated in which we asked to enter the experimental subject number. In this case, I choose the number of experimental subjects could go uh, from 1 to 20. There are two groups, so the end of the experimental will range from 2 to 40 experimental subjects. If this doesn't fit the number of experimental subjects that we are going to have, the session should be reprogrammed. And living here, we can verify that this third screen also ends with a continue button to the next stage. Now we are going to program the phase in which the people of group 1 are asked to distribute 100 euros between him or herself and another person. In this case, after generating the oferta stage, we have introduced a program to define the oferta variable and this phase only runs when the experimental subjects are of the group 1. Now we are going to generate a text box that will be uh, what the experimental subjects be able to see in their computers. In that text box we have introduced an item which the text that uh, the subject will read. That item is related to the offer that the subject will make to the other person. That's why we have associated with the variable offerta. The subject has to answer and write an um, input. So we select input and that input can go from zero to the variable defined as get side. Then the subject will read a message that they have uh, to wait until the other person makes his or her decision to accept or reject the offer. And finally we add an OK button. In this case we are going to generate the phase in which the people of group 2 have to accept or reject the offer that they have uh, made them. To do it, we create a new phase. We introduce a program to define the variable aceptar. In addition, we tell the program that it only has to be executed if, if uh, is of the group uh, 2. Grupo equal equal 2. And also, we say that the program has to look for the, the amount offered by the person in group 1 that has the same experimental subject number as the people who is responding in group 2 at this stage. What does it mean? We are saying that the offer made by person number 1 in group 1 has to decide whether or not to accept uh, person 1 in group 2. And for example, uh, that the offer made by person number uh, 15 of group 1 has to decide whether or not to accept the person 15 of group 2. This screen has to appear after the experimental subject of group 1 has made his offer, his or her offer. So uh, we, uh, we write an item telling him or her to wait with a continue button. Then we generate another screen in which will appear two informative items. An item is informed of the total amount to be distributed. Another item tells the subject how much amount has been offered by the person in group 1. In the last item, they have to enter data. That's why we select input. This programming language of the layout generates multiple response options that can be selected with a click. Then we will see how it is on the CLF screen. In this case, an action, an action uh, when accepting the offer will be 1, and another option when the subject rejects the offer will be 0. This is important to know in Excel because it will appear one of zero and we have to know what is associated with, this, with those numbers. 
and after this we generate a continue button to move on to the next phase. Now we are going to generate the two feedback windows that uh, the experimental subjects will receive. In the states Ingresos Grupo 1, we will generate the feedback from Group 1. Therefore, after generating this phase, we program this phase can only be executed if the group to which the subject belongs is 1. In addition, we need to know if the person in Group 2 with the same number has accepted the offer proposal because he has accepted, if he has accepted, both experimental subjects will take the amount that has been distributed. But if the subject of group 2 rejected the offer, they will not obtain money. So we will uh, define the aceptar variable here, and the program will have to look for what is has answered in the variable aceptar the person who has the same number but belongs to group 2. And uh, let's that uh, define the variable compartir for group two, 1. In this compartir variable, when the group is 1, will be the total amount to be distributed minus the offer that has been made to group 2. We also define the variable ingresos A, which will be what the person in group 1 will obtain. In this game, if the aceptar variable we have created is 1, remember that this was 1 when the people in group 2 ha has uh, accepted the offer, then um, the re uh, revenue will be uh, what is obtained in the variable we have defined it as compartir. And if it is not 1, the variable uh, to accept, that is when the subject of group 2 has not accepted the offer, in this case, zero euros will be obtained, no money. In this case, we generate the screens that will display the people of group 1. There will be a screen with several items. In an item, the subjects will be informed of the amount that could be distributed with another person, associated with the variable kite side. In another item, they will be informed of the offer they made to the other person in group 2, associated to the variable oferta. In the third item, we inform them if the offer has been uh, accepted or rejected. And in this case, in layout, when we define the variable aceptar, one means that it uh, had been accepted, and zero means that it had uh, been rejected. In this case, what appears in quotation marks uh, is the words that appears in the text that is associated with the values 1 and 0 of the variable aceptar. In the following item, we inform the subjects of the income uh, that they will obtain, and that could be the variable that uh, we have defined it and previously programmed as uh, ingresos A. Finally, we will thank them for participating in the experiment. And we introduce a button that finished the phase, a button called Finalizar. Finally, we will generate the feedback screens that will be received by the people in group 2. In this case, we generate an interface uh, that we call Ingresos Grupos 2, which will start when it's possible. In this phase, uh, we introduce a program in which we order only execute this phase if the group is equal to. In this phase, uh, you will have to look for um, what he or she has answered him or herself 
in group 2 and with the same number in the variable aceptar, the variable compartir, if the group is 2, will be the offer that they have made and uh, that we have defined it as uh, oferta. The income obtained by the people in group 2 will depend on the offer has been accepted. Thus, uh, if the variable aceptar is equal to 1, in this case, the income will be what we have previously defined it as the variable compartir. And if the variable aceptar is not equal to 1, if it is 0 or what is the same, if the offer was rejected, in that case they will obtain 0 euros. After the variables uh, have been defined, uh, we will design the feedback screen that the experimental subjects of group 2 will show uh, in the computers. Now we are generating a text box where we will include items and a finish button. In an item, the experimental subjects will be informed of the total amount that could be dealt with another person associated with the variable case side. In another item, they will be informed to the offer they have, made, uh, have been made associated with the variable offerta. In the third item, we will inform if uh, they have accepted or rejected the offer. In layout, when we define the variable aceptar, one means that it had been accepted and zero means that the offer had been rejected. In this case, the word that appears in quotation marks will be the words that the experimental subject can be uh, see in the computers. And this is associated with the val values of 1 and uh, 0 of the variable aceptar. In the next item, uh, we inform them uh, of the income that they will obtain and uh, that will be the variable that we have defined it and previously programmed as ingresos B. Finally, we will thank thank then for participating in the experiment. And we introduce a button that finished the phase, uh, a button called Finalizar. In this moment, we are going to run the treatment to verify what an experimental subject in group one and another in group two can see in their computers. In the case when there is a hundred euros to distribute, the person of group one offer zero euros to the person in group two and this person rejects the offer. Those are the screens what an experimental subject of group one can see in his or her computer. And those are the screens what an experimental subject of group 2 can see in his or her computer with this ultimatum game programmed. Finally, it will be in the same folder where C3 and C left are an Excel with the following data. These are the data we have introduced in the ultimatum gale example. There is two experimental subjects, one of the group 1 and another of the group 2, with the same number of the subject, 1. In these columns you can see the time in seconds that the experimental subject has consumed to respond in different phases. In this case, the subject 1 of the group 1 has the total amount of 100 euros to share and have obtained uh, zero euros in the ultimatum game. The person of the group B or 2 have obtained zero euros in the game 2. If you need more information on how to program C3 for economic decision-making experiments, you can consult the official manual 
of the official website and click on the section documentation and support of the website. And finally, we present you the links that have appeared in this presentation and the bibliography associated with this webinar. Thank you very much for your time and attention.